Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 3 of Spyro Hero's Tale. So, the audio in the last episode was exactly where I wanted it to be, so... Yeah, so, we have a gun, for whatever reason. We have a punch ability, and then we have double jump. Okay, so, pretty basic. Oh, we also have a butt pound. I actually really like Blink the Mole. In the Game Boy games, they called him Blinky the Mole, for whatever reason. And it was like, what? His name's Blink. His name is literally just blank. Why? I do not know, but it is. Why are you telling me to use it on the crate? Also, first person, okay. Can we, like... That doesn't work that... Oh, God, man. Um, game, why'd you let go? I'm holding it down. Like, it's so hard to hold down. Can you actually kill the tentacle? No, I... I don't think you can kill the tentacles. Oh, you can. It just takes multiple hits. So they're like mini bosses, essentially. Oh, never mind. I, I, I was right the first time. You can't kill them. They just respawn back in. Kind of assumed so. Press circle to dig certain areas on the surface. Okay, cool, I guess. We have to destroy shards, not dark gems, but shards. So yeah, what you have to do is you have to come up to here, and then you can go through the wall. Oh yeah, and then you can also wall jump in this game. Or, with this character, I should say. Well, in this game, too. Bomb dispensers. Well, how do I use the bomb? Oh, that was weird. It just didn't let me pick him up. Oh, it's R1. Okay, so, same thing as, um... Oh, yeah, then they stick to the wall. Okay, right, cool. But first, let's do this. Yeah, because PlayStation 2 games and wall jumps. Also, these text... These text boxes really gotta get off the screen. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. Um, for these crystals, by the way... Oh my god. There we go. You have to do that, but they're so freaking weird. Yeah, I don't know why they made them so annoying. Also, they did the climbing slow like they did with Wrath of Cortex. Remember back in Crash 3, and I think Crash 2, where climbing across stuff didn't actually feel super slow? Yeah, me too. That was fun. Okay, we can go through here. Hopefully this is just an optional area, and not... Oh my god, there's so much going on in these levels, it's not even funny. I still don't get, like... Why there's not a better way to throw your bombs. So let's not go this way yet, because there's still so much back here. These, Like I said, these blink levels are probably longer than half the spiral levels in the game. And I think there's almost a blink per world. Oh yeah, I can also fire your, uh, gun when you're on these. Alright, so the ones that don't respawn back drop gems, which is good, I guess. So that'll be crystal number three. Little, little dragon creatures. Thanks for the money, though. Definitely appreciate any money we can get, because we're going to be using a lot of money. Also, it seems like Blink's total doesn't count towards... Like, it's not the same total as Spyro's. Also, what's down there? Oh, there is stuff down here. Okay. Alright, so we'll do that. And we'll go and break this while we wait. This camera angle is really starting to annoy me in this cave level, buddy. Let's destroy them all. Oh my god. Oh, there's another crystal in there. Okay, so we needed to go this way. Thank you. Ugh, fisticuffs. Alright. So now we just gotta drop a little bomb here. And be on our way. Do, 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 do. We only have one left, and we know exactly where it is. This is for a light gem, by the way. I think you can do these twice, and they change. I think... I think that's how this works. 
I, uh, I could be wrong. Don't, don't, don't quote me if I'm wrong. Actually, you can comment if I'm wrong, unless I do it right after, and then it's pointless to comment, but... Patience is a virtue in most video games, sadly enough. Like, games like Sonic move way too fast, and then games like this just move way too slow, and it's just an annoying game, really. The game was just like, yeah, we don't... Do you, you died, do you want to continue? Yes. That was just rude game. Thank you very much. Like, the fact that you can't turn the camera when you're doing this is ridiculous. Wait, what? I didn't do anything. Game? Game. Come on, bro. Oh, there's all new kinds of jank in this game. See, I can kind of turn the camera there, but not really. Whoa, okay. It looks like there's something over there, so that's what we're gonna go for. Oh, it's just that, okay. Um, okay, there's platforms over there, but I kind of want to kill this spider just in case. You never know. Okay, he did drop gems though, so that's good. Okay, we don't need bombs. You think these, like, floating platforms would eventually sink because of the way they are? I want to know what's keeping them levitated, considering we haven't run into a single magic enemy in this game yet. Wait. Are you... are you kidding me? Was this all just for gems? What is going on in this level, man? Wait, I could get up here from over here. Oh my god, there's the shard right there. That's so stupid. My lord, game. We did all that parkour for nothing. I'm pretty sure that's because the gems change locations in this, and this should trigger the end of the level. Well done. Yeah, then he'll give the reward to Spyro, and then he'll ask him to go back in, because reasons. A dragon egg, but I'd love to get out of this fresh air and look for something even better. Ah, the blue one. Yeah, those are the blink exclusive eggs. See if I can buy you a light gem? Yes, please. Even though I don't want to, we have to because we want to get 100% in this game. So, yeah, all right, let's do this. Yeah, so the level will be slightly different. Oh, there's also 10 now instead of. Five. Oh my lord. They could have just changed up the level. They didn't need to make it even more tedious than it already was. Like, I don't get why they do that in games. It's like, that's not fun. It's just tedious. Like, making something fun, I get, or like changing it up can be fun, but just increasing how much you have to do is ridiculous. And there's nothing here, so we gotta go through here. I said go through here. Thank you, Blink. Now we should get our bombs right here. And we'll stick this to the door. Wait, did we even go through the door last time? I don't know if we did. But here we go. Another another crystal. Or first crystal, I should say. Oh and Jesus. Bombs do hurt you, so uh be careful. I kinda assume they did, but I don't know. Also, now you don't get the advice, which is kinda nice, I guess. Unless you forgot, which then kind of sucks, but... I guess that's just a price you're willing to pay when playing this game, right? Actually, you know what? Why do I even want to go up there? There's literally stuff down here. Including this. Just chilling right there. I wonder if I can, like... There we go, that should direct hit the middle. Oh, 
giant spiders. I like Spider-Man, not giant man spiders. Alright, and then we can drop the... Why did you keep running and then drop the bomb over there? Thanks, game. I appreciate it. I just straight up appreciate it. No gems from that spider? You're you're lame, buddy. Well, I guess we'll go up here and see what's up here. We're almost halfway done, though, so that's pretty cool. It's definitely taking less time than it did for the first one. Also, camera, what are you doing? Like, turn around. See, there's clearly stuff right here, and you're like, no, how about no? By the way, the laser does actually home in. Oh yes, butterflies. I love how Sparks, if he sees a butterfly, while there's another butterfly, he'll like cut off of the first butterfly and then go for the other one. Oh, I hit the underside of that game. You know I did. Okay, the camera angle is really starting to agitate me in this level. Holy cow. I can know the camera in this game wasn't always the best, but still. Are you serious? Because it locked onto the same dead spider. Now we gotta wait. Game. Um, did you see how it died without even being hit there? Yeah, that's this game for you. It's super fun and, and is honestly really like beautiful for the day, but it's just not the best game. And there we go. Now we can leave this zone. And jump down here again. Let's go through the wall. Is this the weird spot again? The one that was like really, really janky? It is. Yay, my favorite in the entire game. And sad part is, is a lot of these blink levels are gonna essentially be the same. There's a crystal down there this time. We only need four more. So 12 minutes in and we're almost done both versions of the blink level. And like I said, we can't technically get everything in this game yet. Because, like I've shown before, we do need other power-ups. Wait, why did it... Did you see how it like, zoomed out to punt or to like shoot and then zoomed back in? That was really odd. But thank you, game. Also, this platform has got to move out of my way, otherwise I'm not going to be able to jump on this one. Maybe if I turn off the active camera, maybe having it on, like, just reverse controls in general would be the better one. I don't know. Also, I really feel like there's going to be something up here this time other than gems. Yep, there's a crystal up here this time. I knew it. The music here is kind of interesting, but it doesn't really fit the whole underground theme. If you know what I mean. Like, it just feels like more like, almost like a medieval theme for a game. Do you remember, um, what was that game back in the day with, like, that PlayStation 1 game where this kid was, like, on a mission through, like, some really weird levels and stuff? Rascal or something like that? I think it was called Rascal. Oh, come on, game. Like, I didn't have any time to even react to that. The game was just like, nah, how about no? Oh, we know where the last one is. Perfect. I don't feel like taking damage from him, thank you. And we destroyed. Wait, did these not even drop gems, by the way? What is the point of destroying them? Oh, you can stun lock enemies in this game. Okay. And there we go. There's the last one. We did it. We can now leave the underground and go back to playing the better character. Woohoo! Congratulations. The loading time in this game actually isn't that bad. No, why would I play for fun? Like, what's so fun about that? Now, I'm pretty sure that's what unlocks what's above him, right? 
I think. Yeah, it does. It, the game doesn't even tell you that, but it does. Oh, you have gems hiding in your little alcove, Mr. Spider, or Mrs. Spider, or Ms. Spider, or Monsieur Spider. Ooh, the Dark Crystal. Is that the last one? It is the last one. Perfect. That's our primary goal while we're here, so let's destroy it and open up this door. Oh, it's a frog. God, the sound effect of me moving my wrist against my headset is like really funny. It goes, Rrr. that or it could have been the frog down here. One or the other. We'll talk to this frog though. No, thank you, stranger. Whatever you're selling, I ain't a buyer. But if you're having trouble with the old sinking stuff, I'll wake up one of those giant lilies for you. Now maybe you can help me out. These dang swamp critters keep running off with my food. I ain't at you. Hurting every week now. Well, I'd love to give you a hand, but I. There's a reward in it for you if you can run these foul critters here off my land. I got these old war cannons you can use. I do it myself, but the smell of gunpowder makes me. All right, then you got to do this twice. Yeah, you're gonna see this a lot in this game where it's like an egg and then uh, a gem. How do I shoot? Oh, it's square. Die, little rodent man. Oh, yeah, and see that green bar, I believe, is uh, how many enemies you have to defeat per wave. And the enemies do change, because, yeah, now we got bats. These guys actually make sense, because they look like um, giant fruit bats. Oh, we got more bats. I actually don't mind the bat waves, because they're, uh... They're easier to hit, plus they're bigger and faster, so they actually do stuff. These little guys, on the other hand, not a big fan of. You only have to hit them once, but a lot of the time they're at a weird angle where you can't technically hit them until they hit, like, certain, certain parts. Oh, here you come over here. And you... There's one more, right? There he is. Oh, I think that's the final one. Thank you. There we go! Nice, we got a dragon egg. Now, like... Like I said, the dragon eggs are all dependent on what you do, so we'll get a special one for this. Nice shooting, Dragon Purple! Here's a reward I promised you! A dragon egg! I would have had it myself, but the dang shell on this thing's hard as a rock! Oh, it's a red one. Hey, why don't you try her again? See if you might win your light, Jim! Why do you have all these valuable made-up rewards that... Me and the professor came up with, and yet, and yet, uh, whatever. Death to everybody! It's weird that they chose the, um, I guess it is the fire button, but... No, no, don't eat the fruit, you... Wait, also, why is he eating fruit and not bugs? He's a frog, after all. Oh god, more bats! Bats and little lizard guys. Okay, we destroyed all the bats, so that's good. At least I think. Alright. More bats! Like I, like I said, I like the bats. I'm not a big fan of the uh, other creatures that spawn. Like these little guys, because they're harder to hit, even though they're technically supposed to be the easier enemy. There you are. Plus, you don't have to wait for them, like, like these guys. Wait, what? I was gonna say, like, there's no bats this time. I remember this challenge being way harder as a kid. <laughs> like, I guess I was just bad at video games as a kid. Because that was not even remotely difficult. You saved my vittles. Take this here light, Jim, for your trouble. Well, thank you, Mr. Fredneck the Frog. No, why do you guys even ask me that? Why would I ever want to go again? It's just a waste of my time. Like, who has fun doing that stuff? Also, is that literally just straight up a free light gem? We have nine. We need so many, though, to unlock this ball rolling ability, and we don't have it unlocked yet, so that's a thing. You're dead, sir. And you're dead. 
I guess we'll talk to Moneybags here and uh, buy another key. Oh, we already have a key. Never mind. Um, where have we gone? There's that spot up there. Um, I guess we can go check that out. So, oh yeah, there's the eggs. Um, we'll buy one of these and then we'll go to up here. And that's how you teleport, by the way. Pretty cool. And you get this little warp animation. It's adorable. Alright, so the spot that we need to go is this way, according to the game. Yeah, directly this way. I still love how you can just avoid these. I say as I step on it somehow. Never mind, this is leading me in the wrong direction now. I'm so confused. Wait, oh, that was just me hitting the wall. That was me getting impaled by a bunch of spikes. I think it's this way. Yeah, 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 you're always here to relieve me of the burden, aren't you? Oh, wait a minute, no, it's in the temple. So, no, 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 we got we gotta go back now. I think we're done here. So, we'll go back to... The Perilous Pyramid? Yeah, the Perilous Pyramid, right? I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go. Did you see that? That bug just- or that bug, the plant just straight up shot at us. Alright, so now we can just leave. Time to leave the- the swamp- that didn't even hit me! I backed away from it and the game was just like, nah, you're gonna take damage from it. So yeah, I think we're done here. That's another issue is backtracking in this because eventually you'll get abilities that'll allow you to traverse this game, you know, better. But for right now, you gotta do this. So yeah, until we get electric breath, we can't... Whoa! God, my sticky analog stick on this game is, uh... Or on this game, on this controller is not doing me any favor. It's just so old that it, like, kind of locks into place abruptly. Plus, the spinning camera in this game can also cause issues. This music also doesn't fit this cave, by the way. So upbeat and cheery in the game, it's just like, nah... Yeah, we're still- what do we have here? We're still missing a dark crystal, so I guess we'll look for that. Where are we on the map, though? Wait, where are we? Oh. Weird. The game was just like, hmm, how about no? I do believe there's a waterfall world in this, uh, a waterfall level in this world. Because we need to destroy all the dark crystals for that, but first things first, let's, um... Yeah, you need to destroy ten. We only have five. We can get six from this world. Also, that gave me full health for whatever reason. Oh, these came back, or did I miss those? I don't remember missing those at the beginning of the Let's Play, but sure. Uh... Wait a second. That's also not what I clicked, by the way. Yeah, we need to go back- Oh, no, we needed the double jump! Never mind, we can get up here now. And we can open up this. Let's see what's in here. We have ten light gems. Nice. Now we might as well go back and grab another key, because we wasted our key. But that's no problem to me. Village Depot. I do really like the music to his uh, shop, though. So far, it's the best music in this game. Like, the music in this game isn't bad. Not at all. It's just, it doesn't feel the same as the old Spyro games, you know? The old Spyro games were so much better in terms of soundtrack, even though the soundtracks weren't amazing in those games. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Nork. I don't know why you guys are back and why you're working for a dragon, considering Norks don't like dragons, but that's, that's not me to question, I guess. And this looks like we found the last dark gem up there. Oh yeah, the Sergeant Bird levels. Yeah, I forgot about those. I didn't actually forget about them, I just forgot that that's how they were. We got something over here, though. 
in this cave of delicious goodies. What do we got over here anyway? Ooh, just a free egg and is that a Nork Archer? He shot me out of the sky. You're a vile fiend, dude. I just want this random dragon egg in a sewer. That's egg number nine. Okay, that was weird. He just decided to look away. I'll take it. Also... Yeah, this is the professor's lab in here. There's no reason to actually go down. So we'll just collect that light gem and continue on. Spyro, when he runs in this game, he has like this adorable little hop. Boing, boing, boing. And let's smash this. Break that. Looks like we got some kind of, um... Switchy ditchy thing going on here. Oh, we have to charge it, really? Oh, yeah, this is to kind of cheese it over here. So, yeah, we can go. Oh, never mind, it's going down. What do we got in here? Another light gem, really? Another one already? That's crazy. Also, how many times do I have to hit this thing with my flame breath? Come on. Let's fly over here. How many gems we got? Not bad. Um, we'll probably do the Sergeant Bird thing in the next episode, so we'll continue and get this um dark gem over here. Because that's literally the primary goal of this game, is these things. So let's break it and remove the sludge and tentacles. It was worth a fiery egg. Wow, two eggs in one zone. That's pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the epicest, most powerful game on the planet, Spyro the Dragon Mahones, then we'll collect these gems, but remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord in the link below for more epicness, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye bye and have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, night, year, week, month, whatever. Bye bye.